Hello, welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is climb gradient and the impact of flaps on the takeoff distance and the climb gradient. First, let's look at what is climb gradient. The climb gradient is used to define how steeply an aircraft is ascending. It indicates the vertical distance an aircraft can climb relative to the horizontal distance traveled. The climb gradient can be expressed as a percentage or ratio. For example, if the climb gradient is 5%, it means for every 100 feet an aircraft moves horizontally, it climbs 5 feet vertically. Why is climb gradient important? The climb gradient is required to ensure an aircraft can clear obstacles and maintain a safe altitude after takeoff. It also provides safe margins in case of engine failure during takeoff. It helps in planning efficient climb profiles and optimize the climb performance. One of the factors that impacts the climb gradient is the flap settings. First, let's understand flaps. Flaps in an aircraft. Flaps are secondary control surfaces installed on the trailing edge of the wings. When the flaps are extended, it increases the lift and the drag generated by the wings. The increase in lift reduces the takeoff distance. The increase in drag reduces the climb gradient. The flaps can be extended to different positions or angles which is called as flap settings. The flap settings have an impact on the takeoff distance and climb gradient. Flap settings and climb gradient. Let's consider the smallest flap deflection angle as flap setting one. When a takeoff is performed with this flap setting, the climb gradient is more. This means the aircraft will climb faster and clear obstacles easily. With this flap setting, the takeoff distance increases, so this setting is normally used on long runways. Now let's consider the flaps are extended further to flap setting 2. When an aircraft takes off with this setting, the takeoff distance and the climb gradient decrease. If a takeoff is performed with flap setting 3, the takeoff distance decreases. With this, the climb gradient also reduces. This setting is used on short runways. Depending on the runway length available and the obstacles on the climb path, a suitable flap setting is used for takeoff. Flap settings. Normally, a few flap settings are available for takeoff and a few flap settings for landing. The effect of flap settings on the takeoff distance and the climb gradient are shown here together for a specific aircraft. The optimum flap settings used for takeoff is the setting that gives highest maximum takeoff weight. That's all for my video on the climb gradient and the flap settings. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.